Now, from your local election headquarters, the COVID-19 pandemic impacting the election process across the nation and our region. County Election Bureau officials taking steps to keep voters and poll workers safe from the virus. Our I team's Andy Mahalshik joins us live from Wilkesbury tonight with what you need to know when heading to the polls tomorrow. Andy. Good evening, Nick. Local election officials tell me there is no playbook, no user's manual, if you will, to deal with a global pandemic like COVID-19, but they insist they're taking every step, every measure possible to make sure the election process is a safe and secure one. Social distancing is always going to be followed. Hand sanitizer will be there for you. Masks will be there for you as well. The gymnasium at the Solomon Plains Junior High School will serve as a polling place Tuesday. It is one of the new consolidated polling places in Luzerne County because it had more space for social distancing and COVID-19 safety measures. County Manager Dave Pedry walked us through the voting process. First stop, a sign-in station. They'll provide you with your ballot, put it in a folder, and provide you with your own pen. They also will provide you with hand sanitizer and a mask. The second stop, several feet away, the voting station. Pull up to my, uh, to my, my, my area here, the privacy area. They were all spread apart, six feet. I'll take my pen, mark my ballot, complete it. Pen's now mine. Take my, my, my ballot and go feed it into, a, into, the, uh, into the scanner. Then it's on to the last step to actually cast your vote. Every vote will have a paper trail. I'll take my ballot, I'll feed into the scanner. Obviously it's closed up today because we're, we're in preparation purposes and that'll be it. And I'll vote and I say good luck and I will leave. Now Luzerne County is one of those counties that consolidated their polling places from 144 down to 58 to make sure they're in large venues like school gymnasiums to give more social distancing. We want to point out also, I asked Dave Pedri, if somebody does not want to wear a mask for whatever reason, health issues, whatever, uh, he pointed out they cannot be turned away from their vote, so you'll vote no matter what, but he's asking those people who can wear a mask, definitely wear a mask, and you'll have to keep your social distancing. Reporting live at Luzerne County Courthouse, Andy Mahal, Chicago Witness News.